the northward movement of Southern California is restricted where it collides with North America at the Big Bend. This collision causes the region to split into parallel blocks separated by parallel faults. In the east, it's the San Andreas Fault, then the San Jacinto Fault, then the Elsinore Fault, the Newport Inglewood Fault, the Palos Verdes Fault, and the San Clemente Fault. Each of these faults has its west side moving north, and each generates earthquakes with magnitudes in the sixes and sevens. Now let's look at the north-south faults cutting through the Los Angeles region. The San Jacinto Fault passes close alongside elevated interchanges for Interstates 10 and 215 and lies due east of those towering structures. And the San Jacinto Fault slices through San Bernardino until it merges with the San Andreas Fault west of Interstate 15 in Cajon Pass. The Elsinore Fault features a pronounced cliff west of the cities of Temecula, Murrieta, and Lake Elsinore. At any time, this fault could generate a magnitude 7 earthquake. Note also that Lake Elsinore is shaped like a rectangle. The lake basin is the product of two faults in the Elsinore zone. Observe how the area between the two faults stretches and pulls apart by fault movements. The land drops into a natural basin and fills with water to become Lake Elsinore. The Newport Inglewood Fault has created a linear string of hills and mesas all along the western edge of Los Angeles, including Cheviot Hills, Baldwin Hills, Rosecrans Hills, Dominguez Hill, Signal Hill, Alamo Heights, and Bolsa Chica Mesa. All of these features were formed by active faulting. Think of each hill as a miniature example of the forces that created the mountains at the big bend of the San Andreas Fault. Look at how the area between the faults is pushed together by the fault movements. Compression at a fault bend squeezes the land upward, forming features like Signal Hill. Fault movement here in the 1933 Long Beach earthquake killed more than 100 people. The compression of fault movements that squeeze hills upward also contort rocks thousands of feet beneath the surface, pushing and warping layers of sandstone and mudstone into structures that can trap natural gas and oil. There is indeed a definite relationship between earthquakes and oil in Los Angeles. Yes, faults may trap oil underground, but these same faults may cause earthquakes. The Palos Verdes Fault passes under the Vincent Thomas Bridge, then knifes across the Palos Verdes Peninsula, where it has lifted up the Palos Verdes Hills.